So you got to look at your dreams and goals, and if you've been running into a wall, it doesn't mean that you can't get through. It means that you need to find someone who's on the other side or find someone who knows someone who's on the other side. I wanted to be on the Robert Schuller program. When I saw Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, when he was alive and he was interviewed, I said, I'm going to be on the Robert Schuller program. I called them. Hi, my name is Les Brown. I'd like to be interviewed by Dr. Schuller. Do you have a book? No, I don't. Well, um, have you done anything of any national significance? No, I haven't. Are you known well? No, but if you bring me on, I'm a good guest, I will become known then. That's the idea. I'm sorry we're not in the business of making people celebrities. When you write a book or do something of some national consequence, let us know. It's no guarantee, but let us know. I said, okay. Remember I said, you got to have passion and drive, and you got to have persistence and perseverance and people and projects. What do you mean projects? Well, that was a big deal to be on Ronald Shule's program. How do we discover our greatness? By upgrading our relationships and by having goals that's beyond our comfort zone. Why? Because it causes you to reinvent yourself. Brian Tracy calls it the danger zone. You want to do something you've never done. So being on his program was a big deal for me. I kept telling people with conviction, I'm going to be on the Robert Shuler show. When? I'm not exactly sure. Do you know Robert Shuler? No, I don't. Do you know anyone who knows Robert Shuler? No, I don't. I was persistent. I continued to persevere. Here's something. Write this down. Next P powered by you. You got an idea? You have a dream? Ladies and gentlemen, you've got to take responsibility to make it happen. Your dream, your life, going to the next level will be powered by you. Don't put your destiny in anybody's hands. Nobody's going to care more about your dream than you. Nobody. Nobody's going to work on your stuff more than you. So, I continue to tell people, one weekend, a Saturday evening, I was flying from Detroit to Chicago, maybe about five passengers on board. I'm sitting next to a guy. I introduce him, myself to him named Lafayette Jones. Hi, my name is Les Brown. Hi, I'm Lafayette Jones. Wait, guess what, man? What? I'm going to be on the Robert Chula program. Is that right? When? I'm not exactly sure. You know anybody who knows Robert Chula? He said, yes. I said, who? Well, Mr. Johnson that I work for. You're kidding. How does he know him? He donated a million dollars to his ministry. You are kidding. I would like to meet him. What do you do? I'm a speaker. you got to be kidding. Why? Because, man, our speaker canceled. Can you speak at a program? Yes. Will Mr. Johnson be there? Yes. Whoa. How much do you charge? Well, at that time, I did not know. I said, well, how much have you allocated? Well, all we have is $5,000. Well, for the first time, that'll do. <laughs> Whoa! I came, I spoke, got a standing ovation. Mr. Johnson was sitting to, sitting to my right. He stood up. He said, young man, I've never heard of you. You were phenomenal. He said, if I can ever do anything for you, please let me know. I said, do you know Robert Schuller? He said, yes, Bob is a very good friend of mine. I donated a million dollars to his ministry. I said, I want to be on his program. He said, don't worry about it. I have him call you. Two weeks later, I'm in the Riverfront apartment over here, downtown Detroit. I get a call at night. Hello, this is Robert Schuller. May I speak to Les Brown, please? I said, this is Joe, come on. No, this is Robert Schuller. I'd like to speak to Les Brown. This Les Brown? I said, yes, but hold a minute. i got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> when I get excited, i got to go. i got to go. I came back. I said, just a minute. I said, hello, how are you? He said, great. My friend Bob Johnson called, and he said, you want to be on the program? I said, yes, sir. He said, no problem. I have my staff call you, and we'll bring you on. I was on three different times. I know it works. You better keep those five Ps. 
Your life is powered by you. Give your dream a round of applause. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs>